former President Trump may be indicted with greater legal troubles than that of New York. Share, like, and subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. In Georgia, a Fulton County grand jury has recommended indictments for multiple unnamed people after an eight-month probe into potential interference in Georgia's 2020 election, where Mr. Trump narrowly lost. Also swirling, the special counsel investigation into the former president's handling of classified documents. The special counsel is also investigating Mr. Trump's actions surrounding January 6th. Any charges against Mr. Trump would be up to the DA. Tonight's news of an indictment against Mr. Trump has blasted as partisan pursuits. They're not coming after me. They're coming after you. I'm just standing in their way. One element of the investigation, this phone call between Mr. Trump and Georgia's Secretary of State. I just want to find... Uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have. Is just the first of several looming legal battles facing the former Trump president. has blasted as partisan pursuits. Did the investigation run by a Democratic prosecutor as a continuation of the greatest witch hunt of all time, including more than 100 marked classified after he refused requests to turn them over for months. Mr. Trump has dismissed the special counsel investigation president and Trump is just the first of several looming legal battles facing the former president president case in New York. The crime that he allegedly committed is a bookkeeping crime, essentially, compared to the other investigations, which include efforts to overthrow or overturn the 2020 election. The New York case seems to be the least serious of them all. A New York grand jury decides to indict former President Trump over the Stormy Daniels settlement. Mr. Trump has dismissed the special counsel investigation as a horrendous abuse of power. Media has such an important job for carrying the news, but should not sensationalize the story. Listen to this. Tell me what you think. Last summer, the FBI seized thousands of documents from Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Consider subscribing for more in future content. We know the paperwork has been handed up, but it is filed under seal. We are told a judge is standing by in case the district attorney decides that he wants to move forward and unseal the documents tonight and release any sort of statement tonight. And we're also awaiting word as when might President Trump come to New York to face these charges. Uh, we're told it's not possible. Most often.